I was raped on a couch in what I thought was the safest and most secure building in Australia. In a workplace that has a police and security presence 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The Parliament of Australia is safe. It is secure, except if you're a woman. If what happened to me can happen there, it can happen anywhere, and it does. It happens to women everywhere. Wasn't that he necessarily needed his wife's advice to help contextualize my rape in a way that mattered to him personally. All he could do, and that's how he realized it was a bad thing. I, I didn't want his sympathy as a father. I wanted him to use his power as prime minister. Not five months after being named Australian of the Year, I received a threatening phone call from a senior member of a government-funded organisation asking for my word that I wouldn't say anything damning about the Prime Minister on the evening of the next Australian of the Year Awards. You're an influential person. He'll have a fear, they said. A fear? What kind of fear, I asked myself? A fear for our nation's most vulnerable? A fear for the future of our planet? And then I heard the words, you know, with an election coming soon. And it crystallised. A fear. A fear for himself and no one else. A fear that he might lose his position, or more to the point, his power. Sound familiar to anyone? Well, it does to me.